You ready for school today? Yeah? Do you want to go to school? Go on the bus? It's raining outside though. Okay. There we go. His hair's all nice and combed. Right, buddy? Yeah? Handsome beast. Let's see how it's raining. It's wet. Not too bad. Look, 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 there's the bus, look, 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 ready, let's go. Hey guys, good morning, um, so as you guys saw, Gavin getting on the bus, well not getting on the bus, but you saw that he was getting ready to go to school, if you guys could hear, a couple minutes right before, you know, getting on the bus, even just walking outside, he was like really, I don't know, he got upset, um, he started yelling at me, and I don't know, I don't know where that came from. He was like pulling my mask off. Cause usually I wear it so that I can help him get on the bus and not be, you know, obviously if I'm in front of the bus driver, I want to have a mask on. But he kept like pulling it off and then he wouldn't keep his on because I was trying to put his on before walking outside. Uh, but not until like we were like right in front of like the steps to get on the bus did he let me put it on. Um, and he got on fine. Um, Logan. <laughs> Logan's trying to print. Um, we're trying to print fruits. Let's see, which one, let's go. Ah. Are you squeezing my arm? Squeeze. And come back. Squeeze. Oh. <laughs> All right, should we, oh, we didn't turn the printer on. Go turn it on. Oh, squeeze. You Logan wants a squeeze? And come da. And come da. Squeeze. <laughs> so, um, so then I text <laughs> Logan still. Squeeze. And come squeeze. Uh, so then I, I sent his teacher a message letting him know that he uh, that Gavin has a doctor's appointment today. Logan, stop. And that I would be uh, picking him up early. And he said, okay, sounds good. But he did mention that uh, Gavin has been having a rough morning, that he's been crying and upset. Um, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Okay, go get your paper. It's printing. Go get it. I'm going to squeeze. <laughs> go get your paper. And he did ask if he was upset here all morning. Has he been crying all morning? And I said no. He actually woke up like 15 minutes right before um, getting on the bus. Like I was getting him changed into his clothes for school while he was still kind of sleeping, like waking up. So he wasn't up, you know, crying and upset. So I don't know what is bugging him. Um, I told him that I would then go and pick him up a little bit sooner then. So we just wrapped up breakfast and I'm gonna get the kiddos. Why is it not working? <laughs> I'm gonna go get him right now. I'm just gonna get the kids in some warmer clothes because it's raining outside. Yes, mama, all your purse. Now mama needs needs something out of her purse. Yeah, here, your coins. Wow. <laughs> She's like, mom, are you still there? And they have him in the sensory room right now. Um, he's calming down, he said, but he's still crying. So I'll just go pick him up and bring him home, see if he comes down here. He does have his uh, follow-up with a de developmental. I can't talk right now. I have like just so much and like, okay, trying to get out the door. Um, he does have an appointment follow-up with his developmental pediatrician to talk about something like this um, with transitions and oh, him um, getting upset, like really upset. Um, and I feel like this, him being loud and yelling at us, I feel like there was a period like during like, obviously us staying home and stuff like that, but I think somewhere there, he figured out how loud he can get and what that does. And for some reason he's using that to get either attention or wants to be heard. Um, I know he's probably frustrated that he can't communicate what it is that he wants, um, but I don't know, maybe just talking to the doctor and see what she thinks um, because it's just getting, I don't know, it's getting a lot harder, I guess. But yeah, I'm gonna get the kids changed and then we're gonna go get Gavin and see. See if he wants to hang out here for a little bit before his appointment. Okay, we're all in the car now and <laughs> look at Logan. Logan, put your paper down. <laughs> he's like completely covered up. You're funny. All right, buddy. Yeah, he did not want to be in school today. All right, Gav? Thanks for putting all your stuff away. I just opened up a window and you can hear the helicopter outside now. <laughs> um, yeah, when I went in, because I walked inside and he saw me like across the hall and he just stood there like, 
like no i don't want to leave but he also didn't want to be there so i don't know what's bugging him today hi right, kevin oh we know sister's hey. bugging you i know sister say no sister tell her no sister say no sister tell her no tell her say no no sister no sister okay Eat your popcorn. Mm. Chill out for a little bit, and then we'll put baby down, and then maybe you want to talk to me. Hopefully, he really seems a lot happier now, huh, Gavin? Jumping? Yeah. Just an off day, huh, bud? That's all right. Jump! Go, Gavin! Go! Go, Gavin! Go! Go, Gavin! Go! You feel better now in here? Yeah. Pulled all your stuff out of your box. This is what he does now. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yep, this is all my stuff. Um, he was getting a little loud outside, so. He was happy, but just getting a little loud. Oh, what's up? Do you want me to step outside? Outside. Outside, mommy go. Mom go. Okay, I'll go. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. 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 You always make sure that I walk away, shut the door, and then you'll check. No, I guess not this time. Um, his appointment's in like 20 minutes, and we'll get Aries ready for school. He's gonna go. Um, he's over there watching. We're playing a game actually, um, and then Melina's already down for nap, so. Yeah, I don't know, like, I look blue. <laughs> um, I don't know why his behavior is has been like this for, like, the last few weeks. Gavin was never, like, he never had any behavioral, behavioral problems. Like, he always was very calm, very content. Um, I don't know if it's, like, a, a growth spurt thing. Um, just... Like I said earlier, like maybe he just really wants to like be heard now. Like maybe he like wants to do what he wants to do, but he's only six guys and he's acting like he's 16. So, um, we'll see what the doctor says about that. Um, oh yeah, I was going to show you guys like this is a hoodie that we got from the, uh, Autism Speaks, uh, walk that we did, the fundraiser. And we just got it last week. It's cute. It's like a little, oh, I wish I could do like a full I've got a little hoodie. It's pretty thin too. It's lightweight. Um, I do have a uh, tank top like underneath, but I like it. It's really cute. You came to join me now. Good because your appointment's about to start. Hey, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you gummies. Mm. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Oh no, it's a snake. <laughs> Logan's always playing around. <gasps> No, it's gonna bite. Is it gonna bite? No bites, no bites. Ah! <laughs> run, mom! No! Run! Run! You're supposed to run after me. Run! <laughs> Crazy? 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 <laughs> what? Where? Look. What? It's behind. <gasps> oh no! <gasps> Is it eating my blood? It's drinking my blood. <laughs> Venom got me. <gasps> it's turning! <laughs> <laughs> what, you wanna play too? You wanna kiss? Do you want? I want something. What do we want? Hmm? Oh, something in here? You want another book up there? Open. So that you can tear it along with these? Open. Open. I can't get you the other ones, Gavin. I don't want you to tear them. No. I can't lift you up either, buddy. No, I'm not going to lift you up, honey. No. No. I'm sorry. No. No. You're not going to rip the books. No, you're not going to rip them. Yes, Logan. 
Yeah, it's right behind me. Yeah, Gavin's gonna just be screaming now for a little bit because I said no. Mom, can't rip the book. Snake! I'm right Logan. Behind you. I know, honey. Hey, your bus is gonna be here soon, okay? Let's let's sit down for a minute. Let's just have some quiet time. Quiet time. <laughs> Gavin, you are gonna flip this down and you're gonna hurt yourself, buddy. We're not getting those books, okay? No. No, no you're not gonna tear them. Come on, let's go over here. No, come on, come on, come on. It's okay, it's okay. No. I know, honey, I just... You can't rip books, baby. I'm gonna have to move all those books now because he's trying to get up on his dresser. Okay, we're now waiting for our um <laughs> for the doctor. He's calmed down. What more could you want to eat? <laughs> what more do you want to eat? Show me how you cross your eyes. Cross your eyes. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see your eyes. <laughs> this kid has been pulling all kinds of stuff. All that. What? What do you want? Mm -hmm. What do you want? Uh, Handsome boy. Cheetos. Cheetos. Hmm, maybe we'll have to ask Daddy to pick up some Cheetos. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're done with his appointment, and there he is, just flapping around. Flappy, flappy, flappy. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, he's a lot happier now though, but he was like pulling down every snack in the house and I was, I said, you can have whatever you want right now because I need to get through this appointment. Um, okay, so a couple of the things that we talked about was ADHD. What do we want? No, we're not gonna go that way. No, you have to wait. Wait. Pee, 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 pee. Do you go potty? <sighs> Okay, so this time he's happy without reaching for the books. Okay, so we talked about ADHD. He does meet the criteria for it um, out of like the behavior checklist and stuff that he got, that she got in from school and then just observing obviously his behavior and just some of the things that we talked about. She did say he does fall under the criteria for ADHD, so he basically has ADHD. Um, we talked about his anxiety and his um, obsessions with a lot of things right now. Um, one specific is he's been ripping books a lot. I think I mentioned this already in a, another vlog. Um, so the transitions, how hard it's been for him to transition from one thing to the next, especially a preferred transitional thing. Um, Hi, honey. All right, we just got here. So she did um, prescribe us a medication, um, which I don't have the exact name of it. She, she threw out three of them and she said one of them. Um, but basically they're like very low dose um, for like anxiety, to treat the anxiety and the obsessive um, compulsion um, thing and that that should help him so that he doesn't have the anxiety and the compulsion so that he can transition better and focus better and then um, she said with that she wants to see how that works first before trying to do like any medication for ADHD I and mean, then also she did mention the melatonin she said that um, it can with some kiddos um, they do start to build a, uh, a tolerance intolerance or tolerance to it but um, she said if he's still sleeping good on the nights that we're giving it to him even if it's consecutive days in a row she said it's fine she's like go up to five milligrams and um, unless I start to notice that like five is not doing anything then um, definitely stop for a while and then start it up again but she said it's fine with the melatonin how we're doing it right now so uh, I'm gonna trust her and like I said if if it all of a sudden stops working because he has built a tolerance to it, then we'll stop it. Um, and then obviously too, I do think though that on the weekends, we still wanna like not give it to him, just like on the weekdays, cause that's when he really needs to sleep. Um, what else did we talk about? Um, I think those were like the biggest 
two biggest things that we talked about and then um, we'll have a follow-up appointment in about six to eight weeks to see how the medication is working he was like as you guys saw like right before the call he was just crying and yelling but after Logan went like maybe five minutes after that Logan got on the bus and went to school and then he finally calmed down and he was just kind of laying there with me and then he wanted to find his snacks so he has these you know these um, tantrums um, that last maybe like 10-15 minutes but then he's calm and back to himself so it's not like an ongoing like all day thing but it does happen a lot like it like he won't hold on to the tantrum like all day but it happens quite often if that makes sense so that was like the biggest thing that we wanted to make sure that we talked about today because uh, it's just been very stressful like me and Robbie have like just been really stressed not getting a lot of sleep just all this worry and just trying to like make him happy and just trying to figure out like why the behavior is happening and stuff like that and it's just really been tough lately um, but hopefully this medication will help and we start seeing Gavin be his calm, cute little self. I mean, she even saw him like being like cute with me and like very affectionate. Like he kept coming up to me and like laying on my face and getting right in my face and wanting kisses. So like he, he is a calm kid. He does have those moments, but when it's a transition thing, when we take something away, when it's uh, like he gets anxiety about like thinking I can't do this because they're watching me or they're gonna take my books away or something, then that's what causes these tantrums and it's just really difficult to like break him out of it so <sighs> but yeah we'll see what happens um and then like i said right now he's he's pretty calm he's pretty calm <laughs> maybe i'll get a nap i don't know <laughs> we'll see i see you gavin no you're not climbing up there bud no he's trying to grab books that um logan just got from grandma and grandpa and their grandparents just sent them packages um like they have their own little um book subscription with him like a little book club and Logan I let him open his because he was a little emotional earlier and I mean so is Gavin but Gavin's been just ripping everything and instantly like he wanted to take them and go to his room and rip them you've been like just crazy today Gavin just crazy yeah it's been like this pretty much all day um he did have speech that went pretty good um he had like a one or two little hiccups where he got a little upset but it wasn't bad um and she was like well uh when she first got here too she was like well do you want me just to like kind of play with him today and not do much work since he's kind of like in an off mood and i was like no i think if anything get him to work because oh i don't want him to think that when he acts like this this is this is what he gets like he gets to just act the way that he wants to no, you need to be cool my man um so anyways we've just kind of been <sighs> dealing with this all day all day um also something fun is that we're actually planning a trip up north um and we have been kind of just trying to get some of our winter snow attire figured out because we don't have any and we're just trying to figure out like how can we layer what do we need what do we have stuff like that so um, I'm pretty excited because I think there is going to be snow and at first it didn't seem like it but now um, it seems like there's some snowstorms coming in. Yes, what? What do you want? What do you want? Hmm? You want the books. The books. For what? Are you going to rip them? We don't rip them. Those are Logan's books. Those are Logan's books. Not Gavin's books, no. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's gonna. He's probably gonna have a fit now for the, the rest of the night until they go to bed, which is pretty soon, anyways. Another hour or so, and then they'll be down. But, anyways, we're gonna end the vlog here. Thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys for the next one. Ciao.